President-elect Biden has pledged to make racial equality a centerpiece in his agenda. He's going to seek to restore the original purpose of the Civil Rights Division of the U.S. Justice Department. So how will he accomplish this makeover, and what's at the top of the list? Joining us now from New York is Bloomberg legal reporter Eric Larson. Eric, it's great to have you with us today. You start uh, To start, you walk us through the current state of the Civil Rights Division under the Trump administration. What happened over the last four years, and, and what is the condition that President-elect Biden is going to find it in? Great, thank you. Yeah, it, it shouldn't be too surprising, uh, given that uh, President Trump has been accused on, uh, of being racist and pandering to white supremacists over his four years in, in office. So uh, it's not surprising that Democratic former officials who used to run this office say that basically the Civil Rights Division has been asleep at the wheel and really not honoring in any meaningful way the original intent of the division, which is to enforce federal laws against discrimination based on race and sex and disability. Uh, national origin and the like. And uh, it, it's really, like I said, the former officials would say it's a, an unmitigated disaster, is how one put it. Uh, so uh, President-elect Biden is going to have to, first of all, choose the right head uh, to lead it, um, probably someone a lot different than who Trump has had running the division. Uh, and that'll really set the tone. They're going to have to um, find out if uh, any of the remaining staff, the career staff are, who still remain, are able to get back onto their jobs that they may have been doing under previous administrations and just put in place new folks who are more uh, familiar uh, with the civil rights laws. Now, Erica, I know for this story, the Biden campaign refused to, to comment, uh, but you were able to speak to previous people who actually uh, oversaw the division, including some, some huge names, um, Deval Patrick, for example, who went on to become the governor of Massachusetts, uh, Tom Perez, who of course leads the DNC. Um, what did they tell you about Biden's priorities? Uh, well, they all, they all said the sort of the same thing, given the climate that we're in right now after the killing of George Floyd uh, and all of the protests nationwide against police brutality. Uh, one of the many things that the Civil Rights Division is responsible for is overseeing um, potential problems in local police departments. Congress gave this division of the DOJ the authority to investigate uh, pattern or practice uh, investigations of, of police departments and take them to court and even get de consent decrees to require them to change their practices, these local police departments. And all of the folks I talked to said that these kinds of investigations have completely dried up under the Trump administration uh, just at the time when really they could be having the most impact, at least by giving the public a sense that something is being done. Uh, so that'll be one of the main things I, I, I think that, that he'll be looking at um, the administration when, when Biden comes in uh, is police investigations. But of course, there, there's all kinds of uh, discrimination investigations um, that, that could be restarted or um, cha change their tone. Um, of course, one of the big uh, examples of the Trump administration's actions under the civil rights in the civil rights division was to sue Yale University, alleging discrimination against white students, trying to undo essentially the effects of affirmative action. So um, the folks I talked to said that was the complete opposite of what the Civil Rights Division is supposed to be doing, uh, not suing universities on behalf of white students. So you could probably see um, the Biden administration will walk away from that lawsuit, perhaps, and, and and start looking at discrimination going the other way. Yeah, I found this 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 part of your, your story really powerful. You wrote, the division was created in 1957 by the Civil Rights Act to enforce laws barring discrimination on the basis of race, color, sex, disability, religion, and national origin. Under Trump, it has sued to protect college admissions for white students, abandoned efforts to protect voting rights, and offered support to President Trump political agenda by pushing back to ask about citizenship and the census and scrutinizing Democratic governors' handling of the coronavirus pandemic. It certainly shifted a lot under President Trump, but what kind of challenges does President-elect Biden face in reversing some of these? I mean, it's going to be an uphill battle for some of these things, right? Well, a, a lot of what you mentioned there uh, can actually be undone. That, that Yale lawsuit, um, theoretically, the government could find a way to extricate itself from that. Um, the census question that, of course, you know, they, the government tried to add a citizenship question to the census that is over now, um, that, that failed. And what the Civil Rights Division, their role in that was to try to give a pretext, to, allegedly try to give a pretext to the government for adding that question in order to better enforce uh, the Voting Rights Act. Um, you know, the Supreme Court even ended up saying that that was uh, not really accurate. So um, a lot of these efforts uh, failed and it would be fa fairly easy for the Biden administration to reverse course. 
Um, and that includes uh, dealing with the pandemic. The Civil Rights Division was looking into whether state level lockdowns might have violated religious rights and things like that. So you could see the administration, uh, the Biden administration, reversing course pretty quickly on things like that and seeing how the division can't be deployed to improve equality during the pandemic and uh, improve equality for the next the next census in 10 years. Eric Larson in New York, thanks so much for your time. We really appreciate it. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.